Hey guys, this is Max from HighOnAndroid.com, where we get on Android every day. Anyway, today we're going to talk about the programmable SIM card from Google Fi. Let's go and take a look. So I've got a bunch of SIM cards here, all right? Let me go ahead and talk about the traditional way of using the SIM cards. So I've got uh, AT&T here, got two Verizon cards, got a Sprint, I've got a Korean one. Now these SIM cards are permanent SIM cards. If you lose them, you'll lose them. In order to program these, if you get a brand new SIM card, it actually comes in a big card and it'll actually have the uh, code for it. Now, if you lose that code, you're not going to be able to uh, put it on any line, right? Like Sprint, you go in there and you put that code and then you're going to you can set that SIM card to any phone, uh, any phone, phone number. All right. But pretty much they're permanent solutions. Now, what's different with Google SIM card? Now, the coolest thing happened a month back. My friend who's been working overseas in Indonesia came back to the States and he wanted to get a new number because he had closed all his accounts when he was moving out of the States to Indonesia. So I went to the T-Mobile store and the unlimited was like 80 bucks a month. And I was like, why don't you get Google Fi because it's cheaper. And then I'll, he's like, okay. So the only way he was gonna get Google Fi was order a SIM card. And then it dawned upon me that you can use any Google Fi SIM card. So I had a bunch of laying around because they come free with your Pixel phone. So I had a bunch of Google Fi SIM cards that I've not used or they were used and then now I've moved on to eSIM. So I simply stuck this on his phone and we just installed Google Fi app and we turned this SIM card into his new number. So if you guys didn't know, now you know, you can turn any Google Fi SIM card and use it basically program it to your number without having to know the original code for it. Um, you just plug it in, open the Google Fi app and sign in and you can activate any Google SIM card, program it to your phone number. How cool is that, right? So another cool feature is that let's say you wanna move devices, all right? Now you can go ahead and use the eSIM on your Google Fi, but if you wanna use a phone without an eSIM, then what you do is basically insert the SIM card and activate it with the SIM card, not with the eSIM. So this phone has it activated uh, with Google Fi SIM card, even though it does have eSIM. So I've programmed this with my Google Fi account simply by logging in and activating it. And now I can go ahead and use it on any any phone I want. So let's say I want to use it on my Galaxy S9 that doesn't have eSIM. I'm going to insert the Google Fi SIM and let's give it a second here. You don't actually have to activate it. Once it's activated, it works just like a regular SIM card. And you'll see it's got the number. Just wait for a little bit. You might have to reboot. So let's go ahead and give it a quick reboot. And this is really awesome because it gives you a lot of versatility in being able to set up Google Fi, uh, move it to a different phone, or you can use it as an eSIM. For example, let's say later on I want to go back on my Pixel 3, which I took the SIM card out, but this one has an eSIM. Now I can go ahead and move it to this number and the SIM card gets deactivated. So if you guys want to sign up for Google Fi, and if you have any Google Fi SIM cards running around, or maybe your friend has old ones, you can just take that and put it in your phone and start signing up and start using Google Fi right away. Way. You don't have to wait for it, which is a beauty. And you can see it's starting to pick up data here. Let me go ahead and turn off. I'm going to go ahead and set the access point because it's not picking up anything. It should just work out of the box. You don't actually have to set it up. And boom shakalaka. I have to wait a little bit, but it picked up. And we should get some speeds. Now I'm only getting edge. Um, that's probably because this phone is an international phone. Oh no, there you go. 4G LTE. So there we go. And now my data works. And boom, I have a new number. Um, I can use it just like a regular SIM card because it's a regular SIM card. So in reality, the Google Fi SIM cards are basically programmable SIM cards. Basically, as long as you have one of these, you can sign up for a Google Fi account or you can use it for your existing Google account. And then if you want to use eSIM, you just sign into a phone with an eSIM, like the Pixel 3 XL, Pixel 4 series, and then your SIM gets deactivated. 
I just want to share this cool knowledge. Um, Google's really, you know, innovating the SIM cards, especially eSIM, making that available for us to use. And yeah, I just want to share that another reason why Google Fi is really cool. They're really revolutionizing the cellular tech, uh, making it easy for us to use to switch numbers. I mean, I'm switching numbers like five times per day because I'm changing ROMs. I'm always thinking of better ways to be able to change my number or sign up for a new number blah 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 anyway hit the thumbs up and as always stay hard on android click here to subscribe